hi guys thank you for stopping by my channel um i just want to show you i've got a little bit of different all odds and ends and stuff um i probably even have some of the extra stuff in the garage i'll have to show you just things have gotten kind of overwhelming and as anybody dumpster diver or whatever treasure hunter or whatever you want to call yourself um you know what i mean i don't really like the name dumpster diver but you know how it goes um anyways um treasure seeker that might be good um i might put that on there uh, but uh anyways um just wanted to um stop by and show you all this stuff that i got from bed bath and beyond varston premium cocktails in demand the classic collection cocktail mix let's see whiskey sour margarita old-fashioned Long Island Ice Tea, Cosmopolitan, and Uptown Rocks. Now I've had Whiskey Sour, Margarita, Long Island Ice Tea, Cosmopolitan, Helen, but I have in that old fashioned. Then I have an Uptown Rock. What is that? Is that a margarita in a glass or is it in a sour? I don't know. Anyways, I've got one, two, three, four, five of those kinds. And then one old fashioned. Okay, yeah, I've had one of those because that's a thing people like to drink. I guess it's like a bourbon or whatever type thing. Um, people like to drink that at the Derby or whatever they like to drink it or whatever. Okay, there's margarita cocktail mix. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of those. Okay. Cosmopolitan. Three of those. Okay. So, there's all that. Okay. It's really shocking. I know. And then I opened up one of these Cosmopolitans because I opened it up. It was, there was a little hole and I just punched it through. These are capsules. Cocktail caps capsules. Okay. And let's see what it says. I can't on the back. Make the perfect cocktail. Insert cocktail capsule. Select strength and enjoy. So Okay, yeah, they're just a mix. Um products contain alcohol and then it has all the stuff in it. I guess it would be cosmopolitan would be cranberry juice. Um, and maybe like sweet and sour, is it? Okay. Um, so it says on there ingredients, water, sugar, cranberry juice, concentrate, natural flavors, lime juice, concentrate, citric acid, preserved with sodium, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff is probably not good for you. Um, calories, 60 calories per serving. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, well, that's kind of cool, though. I mean, it's kind of a neat little, like, thing, you know, to have or give away as a gift or whatever. Or put in a, bat, um, you know, surprise box or whatever. You know, cocktails on demand. Yeah, six t cocktail capsules. That's pretty cool. It's a way to take it with you in your purse. I think a friend of mine used to do that. We used to do that all the time. I mean, not all the time, but sometimes. When we didn't have a lot of money, we would, um go to the bars and you know what I mean we take the alcohol with this not just the capsules we would take alcohol in a flask or something um you know everybody pretty much did that you know college student and have a lot of money and um you know to the races Kentucky Derby races UK games or whatever people always did that and I didn't really like to drink much back then so I would just you know just do what I, you know, maybe have a little taste or whatever. Then I started drinking, and now I just drink every now and then. But I like Cosmopolitans and Margaritas. Those are my two favorite ones. And Pina Coladas. Um, no, that's about it. Those are the three I like the best. And make sure you all can see these real good. It's kind of dark. Um, I had to get everything out of my car because, you know, 
you know how it goes. When you go out diving, it's just things get piled up. So, anyway, you know, that's what that looks like. Okay, but there are these two also. These naked mighty mango drinks. Let's see. Expiration date, March. Let's see, I can't see. March the 18th, 2020. I like these a lot. These are really good. These are good, you know what I mean, fillers if you're, you know, in the morning or whatever. Smoothies or whatever. Muddy mango and orange and apple, it looks like. Let's see. Shake well. Ingredients. Mango puree. Apple juice from concentrate. Water, apple juice, concentrate. Drinking juice, banana puree, lemon juice. That sounds good. Okay. But I think it'd be okay. I'll try it out. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Okay. Hope you can see it. Because, like I said, I hope I have light on. Okay. All right. And. There is, I'm trying to do all this, one of these, um, well, my own iced teas, and I've had that, too. Oh, I forgot to check the expiration date on these. Let me check it. Bex by February the 20th, February the 1st, 2020. February, let's see. Let me see what this other one says. April 10th, 2020. These would be good gifts. I mean, you really can't. Cranberry juice doesn't go bad after one month. Okay, there's that. I just said, whoops. And then there's this little bunny head. And he would look kind of cute on a, a wreath, don't you think? Or he would look cute just kind of sitting up on something. But couldn't leave him there. All right. Now there is, oh, mint cookies. I think I showed you all that. I gave those away, so anyways, there's these and the pet smart thing. I think I showed you that video as well as or if I haven't I'll show it to you beforehand. There's a bunch of those. I showed you this. I think I got that at Barnes and Noble. I mean I only found one, but I don't know what that symbol means. I'll have to look that up. And I really like just, you know, notebook paper. I don't know what that symbol means. I'll have to check that out. Um, that kind of bothers me, not knowing what that symbol is. If that's supposed to be some sort of a cross, I'll have to look that up. Okay, Tiara from Party City and Party City. And this little guy, Propel Beanie Hat, Party City. What that's from. Okay, Candle, I'm not sure where that's from. Okay. Five below. I got the pieces. I think I have one in the garage for that. And then these earbuds. I think I have the stuff in the garage. I'll have to do a video on that. These, you can get these at a certain place. Yeah, they might be a little bit old, but you can read. Or if you want to cut pictures out or paste them, do collages or whatever, that's free. That's nice. Okay. I like this. From Kirkland's. It's really cute. Okay. This some stuff I got from Aldi. And bananas galore. I'm going to give some of those to my neighbors. And I'm going to put some in the refrigerator. I mean, put some in the refrigerator freezer. And make smoothies. Kind of alarmed by all the bananas and stuff. But there were some that were in bad shape like this. It's pretty bad. But I don't know if you can use that to make... Banana bread or not, I'm gonna have to check to see if there's a recall on that. You know what I'm saying? So I pulled those out. White cheddar, yeah, there's a hole in there, but I'm gonna give it to the birds. Okay, plastic wrap, plenty of plastic wrap in there. Okay, mayonnaise. Oh, okay, that's gonna go to the trash. I thought it was okay. That's going to the trash. All right, and then tomatoes are good, you know what I mean? Those. Okay, this right here, I don't know if I should keep that or not. See, see that? Oh my God, it's really windy out here. 
Okay, tell me if you think I should keep this or not. Apples are fine. There was one apple that was bad, but you you know what? You can just cut that. It's not a big deal. Cut the strawberries. Stra what? Strawberries take the ones out that are bad. Okay. Blackberries. Raspberries. Okay. Then there's fruit strips, strawberries. I think there's another couple boxes. Um, I gave one away and I kept one in my room. That was four of those. That dog can't stop. There's garlic and an onion. And there's also these pizzas, okay? Now, that I'd give them to my neighbors. I'm gonna keep one or two. And I was thinking about it. If you, if I put some extra stuff on it, you know what I mean? It might be better. Like add some stuff to it or whatever. I don't know. It's worth a try. Then then there's the chicken brown rice entree. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Okay. And then one, two, three, pate. Um, I'm gonna have to, you know, check to see if that's okay or not. I'm not sure. This dog's barking again. Great. This dog's driving me nuts. Okay. There's a few things here. Gabby County, stop. This dog was wearing me out. Okay. Napkins. I think this is from Big Lots. It's cute. Gabby County, stop. It's broken there, but you know what? To turn it around, you're not even going to be able to tell. Okay. And then I got this little bag. I got that from like washing dishes or whatever. And then what else is there? I'll have to see if that's been opened. I don't think it has. I'll check it real good. Look, that and that. Fine. Probably just came out of the box. And then these little. These little guys here, let me get them out. These little guys here, aren't they cute? Little chicks. I'm gonna have to get this done real quick. It's like the rain. Okay, then there's this thing. I thought I could use it for my candles, you know? Found one of these. Okay, this is from, um, was it Joann's? Okay, and they stripped all this stuff up, which you know what? It's fine with me because that's the way, you know, thanks for cutting up for me because I like to cut things up and make them in strips. Make garlands and wreaths and stuff like that. I like to cut things up. So, y'all did me a favor. Thank you for that. And then there's some butterfly ones. Okay. Then this goes to that avocado thing and I have the other piece inside. And then, whoops, this umbrella is really cute. I got, I got that from Aldi. And I got this thing from Aldi. Okay, one of the one, one of the other one was broken. Okay, the glass is broken. But I took this thing from the other one. And then I could just get one at the dollar store, you know what I'm saying? And put it in there, it'd be totally fine. This umbrella's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. But that was cute. Okay. Oh, this thing here um, from Joanne's Handy Press, easy to use. What is it, a little iron? And it's really cute. So that's kind of neat to have that. Like, you know, if you're traveling or whatever. You know, it's kind of neat to have that. I don't know. Okay. There's all that stuff. Like I said, they did me a favor. I mean, I'll have to cut it down a little bit further, you know what I mean, to make my garland, but this is really pretty fabric. Thank you for cutting it. Okay, you didn't, they try to do that on purpose to think that, you know, they don't, that way nobody will use it. It can be used. This stuff here can be cut down to pieces and used for garland, you know, to tie it on there or whatever. So that's useful. Okay. Oh, this other thing, I'll show you this real quick. Oh my God, I forgot about this. I had this in my trunk, I had to get it out. This uh, rug, I'm gonna take it downstairs in the garage. It's pretty really cold out here, it feels like it's gonna snow again. Okay, it's kind of like leopard gray and light gray or dark gray. See how big it is? Huge. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm gonna have to move this downstairs to the garage until I figure out what to do with it. 
maybe put it in my living room or whatever. I don't know yet. Could sell it. I wanted to show you all that. We're all about that. <sighs> okay. So there's that. I hope you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Dark. I don't know. I need to start using my GoPro. Okay. Anyway, somebody got me upset, and I can't seem to... When somebody gets you... Well, this is what happens to me. When somebody upsets me, I forget how to use things. I mean, not literally forget, but you know what I'm saying? I get just so upset. You know, you lose your keys or whatever happens. I mean, and then I can't figure things out. I mean, I'm the one that always helps my dad with his phone or fax machine or... You know, whatever electronically, pretty much. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you this again. Hope that does this little thingy. You know what I'm saying? What's it called? The little thumbnail. Sometimes it does if you show it in the beginning and the end. But now that I say that, who knows? So, anyways, thank you for stopping by my channel. It's freaking windy out here. It's like the freaking Wizard of Oz or something. I'm not joking. It's freaking windy. Um. What is it of Oz dumpster diving is what I meant. Whoops. Um, it's just so freaking windy blowing around like crazy. I'm going to get this stuff up. Oh, thank you all for stopping by my channel. Um, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, have a good day or night. Bye-bye.